please subscribe. There is something intrinsically hedonistic about a convertible. They are impractical in many climates, often too small within to adapt rear seat passengers, and typically more costly than their coupe or sedan siblings. However, from To Catch a Thief to Thelma and Louise, they have captured the collective imagination as the vehicle of choice for those seeking to evade the government and have a fantastic time doing it. Mercedes-Benz probably does not imagine that the drivers of its new E-Class Cabriolet could possibly find themselves on the lam. However, by chopping off the top off its thoroughly respectable E-Class Coupe, it's surely hoping to stimulate the serene smiles, Grace Kelly, and happy cackling, Thelma and Louise, which can only come from feeling the wind on your hair. Sisters from the exact same mister. The main outcome of this increase is a genuinely usable back seat. Both back seats may also have heated cushions, a luxury lots of four-door sedans do not offer. That engine pairs with Mercedes-Benz's familiar 9-speed automatic and, as from the coupe, can be had with back or formatic all-wheel drive. The twin turbo V6 has just as much electricity as this largest drop-top means and not a little more. A more effective choice say, an AMG variant would be welcome, but none now is available, the V6 E400 is the only accessible cabriolet model. The steering is accurate but provides very little feedback from the street although this auto's buyers probably won't mind. The 9-speed sometimes lurches through its lower gears when accelerating from a crawl in city traffic, but otherwise it is above reproach. The exact same coil spring suspension and elastic dampers found from the E400 coupe are standard fare in the convertible. Echo, Sport, Sport Plus, and individual modes permit the driver a measure of control over disc stability, transmission programming, and throttle response. Comfort mode is fantastic around town, with its welcome delivery of hovercraft-like isolation from the street. In any event, the ride is silky smooth. If the path ahead turns winding, Sport mode adds an extra measure of control to restrict the body's movements. More aggressive drivers may like Sport Plus, however, we found its motor noise, sharp shifts, and touchy throttle response altogether out of place here. The many similarities with the E-Class Coupe do not stop the Cabriolet from feeling like its own animal. There's a trick windshield header, dubbed Air Cap, where a wind deflector rises to decrease buffeting. Mercedes has stiff in the front end and the ground to stop body bend, and its acoustic engineer has earned their keep with the multi-layer power folding fabric top, with the top up the cottage feels like a cocoon. Then there's the crown jewel of Mercedes-Benz's convertible technology, air scarf. Thankfully back to the menu after a short absence because of patent lawsuit, it blows warm air to vents in the front headrests, allowing those in cold climates to extend convertible season late into the autumn. During our drive on a 90-degree afternoon, however, we wondered why Mercedes has not sent cool atmosphere through those ports, too. S-Class Amenities This brand new E-Class can be equipped with this much technology and so many luxury features that the uninitiated may mistake it for an S-Class. The seats are wrapped in heat-reflecting leather as standard, while Snapple leather is available. Two of the several accessible interior trims feature natural grain wood. A package of elective active safety technology permits the E-Class to cruise autonomously for short stretches say, a minute or so before it requests that the driver put a hand on the wheel. The final result of the E400 Cabriolet's supremely competent engineering and cost-sitting appointments is a vehicle that a mid-century birdie rooster might take to his summer house agile enough to beetle through a hilly countryside but still befitting motorists of a specific status. Needless to say, this form of transportation comes at a cost, and we won't understand the tally on the looks alternatives until closer to the car's late 2017 release date. Still, there are not many true four-seat, luxury convertibles. We'd suggest a drop-top S-Class, but it is summer, so the leisure class is in St. Barthelemy rather than reading this review. For the rest of us, the E400 Cabriolet is all of the luxury convertible we'd want.